Today we will take a look at the best camera for photography for this year. If you want to find more information check out links down below. Before we start make sure you click subscribe button and like this video. Now let's get started. 5. Own System OM-1 The OM-1 is a small, fun, weatherproof camera that offers a compelling mix of old and new for all kinds of photographer, it's one of the best handling cameras around and extremely versatile. Thanks to its mix of a new 20MP stack sensor, improved AF accuracy. OM Digital Solutions claims the new Trupix X image processor is up to three times faster than the previous version used in the Olympus OMD EG M1 Mark III. Continuous shooting with CAF is up to 10 frames per second with mechanical shutter, 50 frames per second in the silent electronic mode, or up to 120 frames per second with fixed focus. While the boosted processor power clears the buffer swiftly to get you back in the game quicker. The OM-1's resolution of the EVF and touchscreen displays have also been boosted significantly from the EEM-1 III. The OM-1 has also been designed to shoot for longer thanks to a new battery, and can withstand tough conditions thanks to its IP53 rated weatherproofing. Design-wise it's very much in the mold of Olympus's OMD EEM-1 cameras with their compact DSLR-style design. The OM-1 has a good all-purpose design and is no mismatch for Super Tellies while adding the optional vertical grip bulks it up appropriately. Both displays benefit from a significant bump in resolution. The EVF now boasts 5.76 million dots and the 3-inch Variangle touchscreen a decent 1.62 million dots. Battery life has been improved by around 25% compared to the EEM-13, with the new BLX-1 unit offering 520 shots from a full charge. Tvarte Canon EOS r there's a lot to like about the Canon EOS R7. It has powerful autofocus that keeps up with a range of subjects, produces excellent images, handles well and is priced competitively. You also get two UHS-2 card slots and a solid range of video shooting specs, including headphone and microphone inputs, plus the ability to shoot uncropped 4K 60p video. Dual UHS-2 card slots are a nice bonus for a camera like this. The camera produced lovely images in a range of conditions. Canon has combined elements from both its DSLR lineup and its existing EOS R series cameras to make the EOS R7 both portable and intuitive. Impressively for such a small camera, the EOS R7 manages to include a deep chunky grip, which should prove popular among photographers. One thing you might find yourself getting used to is an electronic viewfinder. The R7s is arguably a little dated, offering 2.36M dots, 1.15X magnification and a 120 frames per second refresh rate. The Canon EOS R7 is being heavily targeted towards wildlife and sports shooters, thanks to its high-quality autofocusing and burst shooting prowess. The 500-shot quoted battery life is decent for a mirrorless camera. 3. Canon EOS R10 the Canon EOS R10 is a versatile little powerhouse and one of the best cameras around for beginners. Thanks to its modern autofocus smarts and good handling, the key to the Canon EOS R10's charm is its Digic X processor, which helps unlock the latest autofocus tech and some impressive burst shooting speeds for its price. The Canon EOS R10 again looks like a Rebel SL3 EOS 250D, with a mode dial joined by front and rear command dials, a multifunction button and a video record button. It's a similar setup to the pricier Canon EOS R7. There's a fully articulating touchscreen that can flip forwards for video shooters and, helpfully, an AF joystick. The Nikon Z50, it has a pretty deep grip for such a small camera, which means you can pair it with relatively long lenses if needed. The EOS R10 has a new 24.2 MP sensor, some occasionally temperamental autofocus aside, it impresses with the ability to shoot uncropped 4K 30p that's oversampled from the sensor's 6K resolution. Druhé Sony a Sony cameras can be good and then great, features include a new 61MP sensor and Bion's XR processing engine, up to 8 stops of in-body image stabilization, increased burst shooting and AI-powered subject recognition to improve autofocus. Then there's video capture up to 8K at 24 frames per second and 4K up to 60 frames per second. Image quality is excellent for both photos and video. On the back of the camera is a new 4-axis 3.2-inch articulating touchscreen, 
which allows the screen to be tilted and flipped out sideways and twisted to face forwards. Perfect for both stills photography and video. The electronic viewfinder is excellent 9.44 million dot resolution with 0.9x magnification. There are two card slots on the side of the grip that can be set to record in several different ways when two cards are installed. Image quality in many respects comes down to the optics you attach to the camera, with higher quality lenses naturally offering the best possible image quality. With high quality lenses, image quality for both stills and video is excellent thanks to the new 61MP Exmor R sensor and Bion's XR processing engine. 1. Sony A7 IV Whether you're shooting photos or video, the Sony A7 IV does an unerringly good job of sticking to your chosen subject and, in the case of people and animals the A7 IV's battery life. In-body image stabilization and burst shooting speeds are also merely average rather than class-leading. This also isn't exactly a discrete camera for travel or street shooting either. The Sony A7 IV might look like a clone of its predecessor, on the top you'll find an improved electronic viewfinder with a 3.69 million dot resolution and 120 frames per second refresh rate. The Sony A7 IV isn't quite the game changer that its predecessor was for full frame mirrorless cameras. But its upgrades bring it close to the Canon EOS R6, which means it's a fine choice for everyone from wildlife shooters to wedding photographers. The A7 IV is clearly a very capable stills camera, but what about video? It makes even bigger leaps here. For filmmakers who like to color grade their videos, the jump to 10-bit 4 colon 2 colon 2 color sampling is a big one. 